Welcome to Diablo 4 Beta. Now in the beta, you'll be able to explore Fractured Peaks area of Sanctuary and experience the campaign up to level 25. There's a lot of experience here, yet this beta represents only a small piece of Diablo 4. In the full game, you'll be able to reach level 100. That's awesome, plus a lot of other stuff. So a lot of this actually follows Diablo 3, which is very nice. It has a very familiar feel, but also feels very, very fresh. All right, Diablo 4 is out. The beta is out. The game has not launched just yet, and today we're going to be checking it out. Now, if you don't know me, I'm Bear Cozy. I strive to make entertaining, educational videos, and today we are going to be checking out Diablo 4 beta. This is cool. I'm going to go with the Barbarian, and uh, let's spend a couple of minutes customizing the Barbarian, see how he looks, and uh, we're going to dive into it so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna spend a few minutes customizing the barbarian and we're gonna play around with it see what kind of options they have here now at first glance before we dive into the game I'm liking the uh, I'm liking the different options the different custom options all right so I think I'm gonna go with the guy on the top right let's uh, let's see if we can customize him a little bit now at first glance it looks like we can change his skin tone quite a bit so there's definitely lots of options here. I like the beard. He looks pretty cool. It looks definitely like a barbarian. Very muscular. Um, can change his eye color and everything too. That's kind of cool. I think what I'm going to do is let's play around with his hair. And then we're going to see what else we can do. Oh, wow. Definitely lots of options. I kind of like the beginning that he had there. Kind of cool. I like this guy. Big ponytail works. I feel like everything that they do work. Facial hair works as well. Uh, lots of lots of cool options there. And uh, you can definitely take your time and make him look like you. Or you can customize him. Or you can... Uh, I don't know if there's a random button there. But you can definitely randomize. I like what he had in the beginning. I feel like that worked really, really well. Maybe give him the beard. And uh, there we go. Beard and the ponytail. I feel like that works really well. And he looks very realistic so we're gonna keep them there um, this is actually kind of cool got some tattoos going on here very very neat let's make them blue and uh, yeah that looks cool all right so we're gonna keep them there we got uh, there's definitely different makeup you can do different jewelry as well I don't want to spend too much time on this but I feel like he needs to have something going on so there we go let's give him a couple of earrings not too bad. Very uh, very barbarian looking. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to dive into the game. We're going to take it nice and slow. Very relaxed. I'm not going to go hardcore because we are going to be dead. And uh, right now, we are just going to name him Bear Cozy. And let's dive in see what he looks like. Now, more guidance, less guidance. For this video, we're going to start with a little bit more guidance. Hopefully, they will take us through. I have, I have played lots of Diablo before. I've played Diablo 1, 2, D2R, and D3. And this is the first time I'm making a video on D4. Actually, this is the first time I'm making any Diablo videos. Sanctuary was never meant for humankind. It was forged as a refuge from the war between the high heavens and the burning hells. Instead, it became a new battleground in this eternal conflict. A secretive group called the Haradrim has kept mortals safe. But now this once powerful order is a husk of what it was. And Sanctuary's ancient creators have returned to claim the hearts of humankind. This is the story of their downfall.
Whoa. That tat looks fresh. Oh, we're in trouble now. That's kind of cool. Before I freeze. All right, so let's figure this out. This is a typical Diablo layout. I'm going to move the mic just a little bit so I can get access to my keyboard. Not too bad. So the only thing we have right now is a regular attack. Now, we do have on the top right-hand corner, we do have a indicator of where we need to go. Nice little mini-map up there. Um, let's see what we got. Regular wolf. Whack him. Nothing more. Okay. So right now, just a basic attack. We do get some gold. If I hit I for inventory, let's see what we got. We got a two-handed hammer, which is kind of cool, and a regular axe. So right now, looks like we're using the double-handed axes, but can we switch to the hammer? Not yet. Okay. If we hit W, that doesn't do anything. I would imagine at some point we can switch to a two-handed hammer. Maybe they'll take us through that. We do have a weak healing potion that is bound to Q, and uh, that's about it. And we do have an evade. Okay, so we do have a nice little, nice little dodge there. A little bit of lag during beta, not too bad. But I wanted to check this out together. So if you are wondering, if you don't get a chance to play this, and you are wondering if this is any good, I wanted to check this out together, make a video, hopefully. You like this as much as I am. Now, right now, I'm just going to explore a little bit. We're going to kill some wolves. Wanted to explore. Sometimes there's hidden things at the end here. It's blocked. Okay. Not always. This is the beginning of this tutorial. But the extra experience will help. And then maybe we'll see if we can chain some mobs together a little bit later. So, right now, we do have... We do have a sprint. And uh, it looks like... It, what is that called? An evade? Evade. It's on a five-second cooldown. Not too bad. Another abandoned town. Okay, nobody here. Everywhere. Fangs in the dark. Hopefully, you guys can hear that. Okay. Careful. Find the source of the voice. All right. Let's see what's behind door number one. Nice little hut. Are these guys talking? Aha. What's going on? That watch, that's it. Oh, I close it. What's Look. it to you? Oswen, hush. I'm sorry, Wanderer. You've come at a difficult time. This madman just stumbled into town and started causing trouble. 
demons spilling from the ruins. Kill us all. Cool. Kill us all. Ruins. What is he talking about? What ruins? Come. I'll explain. All right, cool. She's going to show us what's going on. I do want to get to this two-handed weapon at some point. There is evil uh, staring in the ruins to the north. Shift. That poor monk back there must have gone Unequip, inside. so... If we hold down yeah, shift and we left click, it should link it. Oh, okay, that links it in the chat. Got it. So right now, this is a little bit slower. So what we're going to do is that? we're going to take our Did time. We're going to explore something? the game a little bit. And uh, this video should be about an hour. We're going to play it together. Could you protect us from whatever is out there? And hopefully we it goes well. Nowhere else to turn. No one should live in fear. I will cleanse the old ruins of evil. That really? we will do. Oh, thank you. Boom. All right, cool. We got a level up. Where's our level? This is really cool. I like that. Uh, a to apply skill points. Right now, here's our skill tree. We do have paragons as well. Probably not till way later. And uh, if we zoom out, the skill tree. Oh, baby. Wow, that's cool. I like that. Nice and big. Lots of different builds we can do, which is really cool. So right now, it looks like we can pick a lunge and strike. Lunge forward and strike an enemy for 12 damage. We also have a bash to generate. Bash the enemy with your weapon, dealing 12 damage. After bashing enemies four times, your next bash will stun. That's kind of cool, like the other one. Frenzy is always good. Um, and then flay. Flay the enemy, dealing one damage and inflicting bleed. So, mm, decisions, decisions. And it looks like right now, this also splits after we pick one of these. We, it also splits into other different directions. And as you can see, just from hovering, if you pick the right, you can't pick the left. Same thing here. So I wonder if we want to go to Bash right now. Bash will probably give us the most damage. I am sure Flay is good for bleeding, but we probably need a really good weapon for that. I am very, very tempted to do Frenzy. However, let's go ahead and do with uh, Pick Bash. So we got one. So we got this unlock now. This is going to come down to this main tree. And then I think next time we have a point available, we can come up here and pick Enhance Bash. And then it'll split either into Battle Bash, damage the stun enemy with Bash, generates additional fury, or Combat Bash. As you could see, it splits. So right now, we're going to work our way down, I think, right down here spending the number of skills indicated on enabled connection we need one more skill and then oh baby and then we get whirlwind which is very early and that was one of my very favorite things to do in diablo 3 okay so we got our bash right on the right hand side on the mini map this is our healer and this guy <laughs> looks like is our armor maybe where's the armor there one of these guys here we go to be grateful okay. for in this world Right now we have a regular tunic, regular boots, so we have just basic gear on. Uh, he doesn't really have anything that we can buy. A little bit more armor, but I don't know if that's actually going to do us any good. So right now we're just going to head out and continue. We do have Bash now, which is nice. We are in Ice Howl Taiga. Let's get that. Ooh, a nice potion. Auto pickup's always nice. Big old bear. Okay. Did we? Oh, we're full. Oh, so one of the things here we have to keep in mind. And we switch. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and drink this. So for us to pick up this potion on the ground, we have to drink one of our potions, which is linked to Q. We are four out of four right now. So if we Q, it'll drink it. And then we can grab this one. Right. And then he also swapped to the two-hander. I'm not sure how we swapped there just yet. Um, that's something that he did by himself. <laughs> Which is good. That'll work really nice with Bash. While picking up a new item, press C to view your character's inventory and equip it. And I does the same thing as well. So C for character, I for inventory. Skeleton archers, typical. We stunned them on that one. Lots of potion drops, which is very nice. I do like this. Uh, feels very, very strong. Feels like he hits very hard. Feels very strong. All right, abandoned halls. Search the depths of Ice Hollow Ruins. Let's go. 
this is going to be cool. I'm going to be playing this for about an hour. This video will be about an hour, plus or minus a few minutes. And if you are at work, or if you are just trying to kill time, if you have time to kill, especially if you're at work, I used to work and I used to watch Diablo 3 players during my job while my machines were running. Boom. So if you are looking for some entertainment and you, if you are looking to kill some time, this is what this video is going to be about. Now, right now, we do have one more level. We are at level 3, which is right up top. We can hit tab. Tab will give us the main overlay. Or we can actually hit A. Bash the enemy with your weapon, dealing 12 damage. So right now, the next rank is going to be 13 damage, which is going to be a little bit more. And we are now down here to the core. To the next core, I should say. We're down here. Core skills spend resources to deliver power attacks. So these are the core skills right here. We started right up here. We are to the second one and we're going to continue. And then it looks like you can enhance your core skills as it goes. Let's continue exploring. See how this does. Now Bash is a lot better versus big powerful monsters. Probably not so good versus huge armies. But we're going to do what we can. We're going to work on it together. We're going to do what we can. Let's pick up the Strider's hand wraps. Um, I want to see, let's hit I. I want to see if these are better. So if we right click, that should auto equip, which is really nice. And we got a little bit more armor than we had, which is kind of cool. And right now it looks like we have three weapons available. We have the two handed hammer. We also have the two axes on the main hand and the off hand. And then we also have a two handed sword. So right now, if I hit A again for skills, I'm wondering, depending on the skills we choose, I wonder if it auto selects that type of weapon, right? And we can actually see that here. Right here, if, we, if I had selected Frenzy, it would be a dual wield. And then Flay is most likely any of the weapons, it looks like. Yep, looks like any of the weapons. Whirlwind is channeled, which probably too early for that because we need to find some sort of a generator. Uh, where's our evade? Spacebar. Okay. So, spacebar evade. We caught one of the guys on fire. I don't know if you caught that. So, he is on fire. He's burning. That's kind of cool. They light up blue. So I do have to have my hand on the space bar. And I do have to remember that those blow up. So we don't want to blow up. Alright. Let's go ahead and see if there's a weapon rack somewhere. My next skill I'm thinking might have to be in flay. Because I want to be able to bleed a bunch of enemies. Instead of attacking them one at a time. Okay, I just went ahead and turned the sound effects down just a little bit. I feel like they were a little bit loud. And uh, let's continue plowing through. Hopefully this isn't too much. It sounds fine to me, but let's drink a health potion since another one dropped. And continue killing the skeletons. Right now, my idea, right, the thought I had was just to try to keep us topped off on the health potions if we can. We got some gold. We got a nice hammer. Let's see if that's better. And then uh, every time we pick up another health potion, we're just going to drink one to keep ourselves topped off and to make sure we got four out of four constantly. All right, right now, here we go. Two-handed hammer. It's going to replace our starter. That's kind of cool. There it is right there. I love the graphics. Absolutely realistic. Looks very, very nice. And we did, we did get a uh, damage increase, right? We got a DPS increase, which is nice. Let's see. So we did gain 11 per second, I believe. Yep. Damage per second. So we went from 36 to 47, which is really cool. And 8%, plus 8% overpower damage. Okay, that'll work. Okay, another potion. We can't pick that up. We are full right now. But... All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can line of sight these guys, maybe. Dodge that. Boom! And we leveled up and they all died. I love it. So that was really cool. That's one of the things I love about Diablo. Makes you feel really, really powerful. Let me move my mic a little bit up. Um, what did we get? Let's see. We got some wraps. Adept Gauntlets Magic Gloves. 1.5% critical strike. 22 more armor. That is really good. So our overall armor went up. Our attack power is at 48, which is nice. Let's go ahead and equip that, and I feel like that's it. Very cool. All right, now, we did get another skill right down here, unspent ability. So right now, we can 
We have another choice to make. Ooh, this is interesting. Rend. Rend is going to be good. Cleave enemies in front of you, dealing 4 damage and inflicting 35 bleed damage over 5 seconds. So a lot of this actually follows Diablo 3, which is very nice. It has a very familiar feel, but also feels very, very fresh. So I think right now, I'm going to go with Rend, but let's check out the rest. Uh, Whirlwind, I always love. It is one of my favorites. However, right now the Fury cost is 20. I don't think we have a, a Fury generator. Not enough. So Rend will be most likely more beneficial since uh, we can actually cleave all the enemies in front of us and we can bleed them. So it'll take a little bit. Double Swing could be interesting as well. That is for dual wield. Sweep your weapons from opposite directions, dealing 12 damage. That's kind of neat. And I like these. These look like they're passives. Basic skills generate 5% more fury when using two-handed weapons. Same thing here. Pressure point, lucky hit. Your core skills have up to 10% chance to make enemies vulnerable for two seconds. Interesting. Vulnerable right down there. Vulnerable enemies take 20% increased damage. Uh, upheaval. Tear into the ground with your weapons and fling debris forward. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That's kind of cool. And, of course, the old famous Hammer of the Ancients. Slam the hammer down with your Fury of the Ancients. Deal 30 damage in a concentrated area. Ooh, uh, let's go Hammer of the Ancient. I was going to go with Rend, but I feel like Hammer of the Ancients is going to be much better. Now, it does cost 35 Fury, so maybe I got a little bit over ahead of myself. Let's see where we're going here. Right over here. We got... 31. So the Fury generates kind of cool. Let's try the Hammer of the Ancients. Not too bad. Doesn't have an enhanced effect right now. Um, so it doesn't have the Rolling Thunder that we're oh, used to in Diablo 3. But that's kind of cool. Let's grab this. There's also a Healing Well, which is nice. Dodge forward. Hopefully the sound effects are not too quiet. I will fix it for the next video. I want to play this a little bit, make another video. Let's go ahead and hammer on the Ancients. Oh, wow. So it's definitely a lot stronger. It just completely annihilates them, which is really nice. Rend is good as well. I feel like I want to try something a little bit different. Armor Rack. Strider Shoes. Okay, shoes. So these are the new shoes. One thing I noticed, I believe one of these was the new shoes. Striders. Plus six armor. Very, very good. That was the armor rack. So we got, right now, we got a regular bash that generates 10 fury. And then we got a fury spender, which is Hammer of the Ancients. And then we can also get a uh, basic core skill that'll generate... There he goes, he's just done. Basic core skill that'll generate more fury, which is going to be nice. So we can use Hammer of the Ancients a little bit more. And uh, Hammer of the Ancients actually smacks really, really hard. Let's see what's in here. Nothing in here. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Moving right along. I am keeping an eye out for barrels, um, for chests, and weapon racks. We do need to get another weapon at some point. Fury is full, so let's see if there's a boss in here. Mortar. Okay, so right above their head, as you can see, he actually auto-killed them. I stopped clicking, but right above their head, it's actually kind of cool. It shows their abilities, what they do, which is nice. So this guy's a fallen shaman. Always a fan favorite. Let's go ahead and use our potion. Since we got one more on the ground, let's use this. One of the things that this is actually interacting is not like Diablo 3 where it automatically tops you off on health when you walk over them. You do have to queue to use your potion in your inventory, and then you can pick up the new one. So that is the way that that's working. Another Fallen Shaman. Pretty basic standard mobs. We are very early level. I am level 4 right now. You could see that at the top right of your screen. And it uh, looks like we're coming up on another healing well. And usually, whenever there's a healing well, usually there's some stuff here. Now, right now we are pretty slow. Um, usually there's mobs wherever there are healing wells. Typically that's the way it works. Heal up before some kind of fight. I am pretty slow, so I would imagine at some point we will get some more extra speed. Now, ooh, interesting. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, the corpse here. Evade, let's dodge that. 
Look at this guy. Look how big he is. Oh, I'm vulnerable. Oh, I'm vulnerable. That's interesting. So when you are in a vulnerable state, you don't want to take any... Mm, okay. Don't want to take any excess damage. So the best thing to do, I noticed, when I was in a vulnerable state, is just to run away. Not enough here. It's okay. So there we go. We're going to dodge that because we don't want to take 20% more damage from being vulnerable. I must wait. And I do have to get a little bit better with my dodging. Don't have enough fury. Where are you going? Come here. Let's play. I tried to dodge it too. Wow, that is one tough cookie. I'm glad I picked the easier option, <laughs> even though I'm pretty experienced with D3 and D2. Um, I'm glad I did not pick the harder option. Now, there are markers up top on his health. If you look right in the middle of the screen, tried to dodge that and I missed it so there are markers at the top of the screen there we go finally dodging that we're learning we're learning one of the things I've always struggled with in games where you have to actively dodge is I am so used to there we go I didn't realize we can hit him while he's up there so in games where you have to actively dodge I have never been good at that. Always struggled because of the delay. Okay, my own my own delay. I'm used to just tank and spank. So we got a couple of things here. Um, we did that. We got tab for map and journal. We can also, let's see, interact. Is that the only? I feel like there's two here. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. So I guess we're good. Returning back to the taiga. Cool. He was pretty tough. But we also don't have any gear. So let's go back, figure out what we're missing here. I don't think right now we have any kind of a teleport. I have. The old ruins are clear. Your town should be safe now. Truly. Ha! By the light, you are heaven sent. Oh, I'm so sorry. We, we haven't any coin to offer. But we have hot stew, good company, and... Stay for a pint. Wash out the taste of the stew. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be honored if you'd join us. Our savior. <laughs> Pretty cool. One of the things I really like is the way you customize the character that's what actually shows up in the cinematics which is nice if you notice his hair his beard is the same the tattoos are all there his piercings are there which is kind of cool i like that so if i was to make another character make him look totally different he should look totally different in the cinematics as well i'm really enjoying this uh oh i think they drugged him Oh boy, this isn't looking good. Where are they taking this guy? Is there a pile of bodies in the barn? That's what I'm wondering.
<laughs> All the body parts. I see where this is going. Thy mother's blood. Thy mother's body. So uh, shall you witness her glory. Before you die. Well, we survived that. We got lucky. I don't have enough fury. Okay. Pop another potion. Go ahead and grab this real quick. See if we can... Ooh, we got some new weapons, too. Got a nice pull arm. There we go. That's awesome. Changes right there. The magic belt. Okay, so we got some new weapons. We got a new pole arm, and then I think we got a new offhand weapon as well. Um, and these are that is interchangeable. Okay. Can we switch? I don't have enough fury. Oh yeah, I forgot you need fury to fight. I wonder if we we can actually switch this because what we have is forty seven. This is fifty seven. I can't change that. I'm wondering. I don't want to do that. I don't want to unequip it. Sixty-eight per second. Yeah, that's definitely much bigger. I wonder if we need a skill that's associated with it. Most likely because right now, Hammer of the Ancient uses the two-hander that we got. Uh, if we picked something else, double swing. So fury cost fury. I wanted to pick something that could generate fury. Oh well. Wow. Like hmm. Okay. That was all of them. Light willing. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. And there's also a chapel key, so we can skip the conversation here. Grab this chapel key. That's going to be interesting. Loot the chapel key from the corpse. Cool. Doors open. Let's continue. Nice. Now we are about to level up here. Right there. We just need one more kill. So. Looks like we need to go down to the chapel. Let's go talk to the... Uh, let's go get the door. Figure out where the chapel is. Maybe we can find some more loot. Right now, it is a little bit laggy. Just slightly. But not too bad. For beta, it's playing really well. Like the ones I was fed. Is this real? Oh, very cool. Now, is this a vision? Or is this real? Right now, I am leaving the cinematics on if you haven't seen them. If you're watching this for the first time, I wanted everybody to see the cinematics.
lies not in the light, but in you. The faith has taught you to deny your heart's desire and turned you into a prisoner within yourself. So I'm wondering if they're going to turn. Break the chains and be beautiful in sin. Resist! Resist her temptation! It's me. I brought your child into this world. Well, that was interesting. You came to thank the light. You collapsed inside. Okay, we got another level, which is cool. We are level five. Now, one more skill point. Right now, we can either try to continue down. I think every time we put a point in, we do get this bloodline that fills down into the next skill or um, we can actually augment one of these so hammer of the ancients so this is actually interesting if we choose to continue in the hammer of the ancients tree we gain three percent more fury for five seconds of each enemy damaged by the hammer of the ancients whirlwind of course we're not i love whirlwind i don't have enough uh right now i think what i want to do is put a talent in endless fury basic skills generate five percent more fury when using two-handed weapons so that should help us and then we do have a refund as well I would imagine there's probably a limited number of uses there but now bash should generate a little bit more if we hover over bash it actually tells you that the hammer is the one that's selected right now I'm not sure it looks like it's on auto I can't uh, actually hover over it but you can see the auto select there with the symbol that is what it's picking and then this one is the same so all right so hitting tab tab opens up the map which as you can see is pretty big so we need to continue over here search for answers that is where we're gonna go find the hermit's cabin so we're gonna continue there we still got our bash skill and uh, we should be able to generate a little bit more fury now let me just check my inventory make sure okay we got a new necklace of four percent resistance to all elements I like that Everything else is so far the same. Now up here, we got something here. Let's go ahead and grab the gold. And uh, Ice Worn Cellar. So this is a little bit of a side quest here. Let's, uh, let's explore that, see what happens. And looking at the top right on the map, that is the main quest, this big yellow circle there. That is the main quest. So right now, let's go ahead and kill the captain there. There we go. Cool, that works out. Uh, nothing really to pick up here. Just a small couple of small skellies. A little bit of a XP bonus there. And then we're going to continue moving on. So this was very brief interaction. Not really much there. I was expecting some kind of loot. But let's, uh, let's continue going to the quest. I'm going to try to keep my fury full for a little bit. For when we really need it. What's this here? Now this is kind of interesting here, Protection Shrine, I like this, boom, Protection Shrine. Short term power increases when interacted with, 
like it. Oh, it's very, very, you all invulnerable and unstoppable. It's very brief though, as you can see, it's going away really fast, but the invulnerability is nice. Um, looks like we're running a little bit faster as well. That's nice. The extra run speed is always good. However, I feel like that shrine was not timed well because I tried to get to the mobs as fast as I could. Um, maybe we'll get something that allows the shrines to last a little bit longer. So we are at level 5 right now. Let's kill some spiders. We do slow down though over their webbing. So that's kind of interesting. have to keep that in mind so we don't get stuck and trapped in AoE. Ah, you can travel through marked areas. Interesting, interesting. Hit space bar to duck. Okay. I would imagine probably the same thing down here as well. Yep, climb down. That's kind of neat. So we just came up there. So there's two different ways we could go. Probably another, a third way here. Right now I'm all the way to the right. Let's grab these leggings. And right now it's all basic stuff. Armor goes up, which is good. 271 armor. This is all basic equipment, but I'm sure we're going to start to... There we go, there we go. Start to get some blues over time. Uh, intelligence plus four doesn't benefit us. However, the extra armor will benefit us as well. We need more strength than anything. Strength right now increases skill damage by 1.9 and armor by 19. Intelligence actually re increases resistance to all elements. Interesting. So we do use intelligence a little bit. I'm sure not as much as a wizard, but it is beneficial. So at least it's not wasted, which is good. Plus one to bite berry. Now, what is that? That is something that I'm curious to see. Consumables are not here. We do have some gold. We have some red dust, which is PvP. And then be, and then we also have some obols, which is the curiosity vendor. We haven't got there yet. Uh, right now, that's all we have. The clicking on these is a little bit tricky. Nice new hand axe there. See if that's beneficial. Probably not. This one's actually really, really low. 12 item power, 11. Yeah, so these are all lower. Uh, where are we going? We are exploring. Can we actually... Whoop, pop the potion accidentally. Can we continue exploring this way? No, road's blocked. Interesting. Okay. There's another potion, so I'm glad I looked there. We are keeping it topped off, which is nice. I must wait. Hmm. Wonder what the berries are for. Um, right now, they're not under consumables. If we hit I for inventory, go to consumables, we can't eat them. So I'm wondering what they're for. That's going to be interesting. I keep hitting Q. All right, let's check this door here. Bookshelf. Here we go. Oh, more jars. Interesting. Herbs, mushrooms, organs, not for cooking. So that's all that says. Search for answers. Short fingers. Okay, we got some notes. There we go. So I wonder, is he going to find answers on the desk? He knows we're in his hut. What's going on here? Oh, he's got a deer. If you're going to trespass into my home, rifle through my things, then at least have the decency to join me for supper. I'm bloody hungry. Okay. Looks like we're staying for dinner. That's quite the story. I wish it wasn't true, but it is. Why did I have that vision? Thank those friendly villagers. They gave you the blood of Lilith. Blood of a demon. Not just any demon. 
the daughter of hatred, the mother of Sanctuary. She was banished ages ago, but this world is her creation. <sighs> it was prophesied she would come back. What does she want? That's the question. Sanctuary has always been trapped amid the eternal conflict. A war between angels and demons. But Lilith serves neither side. She has her own plans for us. And me? Am I corrupted? Not sure yet. But you two share a connection. Ooh. What will you do about it? Use it. Find out what she's after. Good. Then we're in this together. Rest while you can. Then we'll start in Kiovashad. If we can't stop Lilith, we'll all be damned. Well, that's interesting. So he's now connected to Lilith. That is very, very interesting. Okay, six out of seven. Search for answers continuing. It does feel like we are running faster, which is really nice. Uh, right now, materials and stats. Interesting. Herb used in crafting potions, elixir, elixirs, and incense. Very cool. So, and we do have some bite berries as well. Or it looks like we get to gather a little bit as well. I like that. That's kind of cool. Uh, a little bit of an interesting, something different, right? A little bit more things to do now we do have expertise here look at this there's expertise with weapons i really like that so the more you use a certain type of weapon the more expertise you have which is really nice and then once it levels up you get more fury at least for this one we get more fury when hitting an enemy uh that's kind of cool rank zero out of ten very very cool i like that we also have uh technique and then abilities of course we're still working on Kind of cool. All right, let's continue. I am really enjoying this two-handed sword. Is there a place to sell any of this stuff? I am getting so much of this junk. I want to get rid of some of this. And I'm really looking forward to getting a little bit of a spin to win going on. But right now, probably can't. I'm not generating enough fury. Spin to win usually uses a ton of fury so that's going to be very short-lived and i'm going to be very disappointed okay so shaman definitely goes first because he does keep resident let's pop a potion since there is one on the ground what can we replace here can we replace the main one okay here we go pretty cool so we got another one-handed weapon, fundamental club, and a powerful club. So I wonder next a skill up. What I'd like to do the angel in Arius. I'm sure you've heard the Cathedral of Light is Lama maybe try Fury. Father. Well, he's real. An angel walks among us. And when he learns that Lilith is here, blood will flow. They are ancient. Cool. Enemies. Okay, this I can't skip. They'll drag the whole damn world into their feud. Unless we can stop it. Let's not linger. Kiobashad lies just ahead. Hollow tree. Some gold. Some berries. Let's uh let's kill the shaman here. So he doesn't keep resin him. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Hmm. I feel like right now I wanna follow the story, get a little bit more experience. Maybe get some more weapons, some better gear, before I go exploring too far. We have no time for this. Okay, let's go. To enter Kiyobushad, you must perform a cleansing ritual. Meaningless gesture, but some people take comfort in. How dare you! Just let him through, lad. I've tried for years to get Lorath to do the ritual. Fine. But this one stays. I'll meet you inside. Take a All right, cool. So it looks like, do we need to? And 
Do the ritual? Interesting. Ooh, boy. Right of passage. Uh, hmm. I'm honestly not sure. Right of passage. Burn your sin. So I guess we're going to do uh, anger since we're a barbarian. It's an angry class, a very physically strong class. Let's go with anger. Cool. Speak with the guard. I guess we're done. Fury is actually staying, which is nice. You must feel as though a great weight has been lifted from you. Sure. Welcome to Kyovasha. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Now, the Fury, I wonder if the Fury does degenerate like in D3. Right now, it's staying 80 out of 100, which is really nice. Unlocking weapons. Okay. Tap Y to view. Oh, that's, this is very interesting. So these are challenges. Weapon Master. So kill an enemy with a two-handed bludgeon and a two-hand slashing kind of cool so we completed that uh and a one hand oh there it is one hand weapon in 10 seconds it looks like depending on the skills you use he will actually auto switch weapons which is nice i don't own any mounts yet stable vendor progress the campaign to complete and gain access to mounts so we do have mounts which is nice very very cool all right that's kind of cool i like that speak with the merchant so we are in town we are in kievashad and right now i'm gonna look around i'm gonna visit the blacksmith see if we can sell anything here see if we can buy any new weapons maybe some new armor right now i'm mostly interested in new weapons this looks like is a place to eat uh oh alchemist yeah probably don't want to eat the soup he's boiling <laughs> but we <laughs> We can, oh, here we go. So we can actually make some tiny healing potions, which is an increase from weak healing potions. Right now, we have a weak healing potion. Heals 17 life instantly and 35% maximum life over 3 seconds. The tiny will actually heal more. And it looks like we can craft this right now. I don't think we, we have the required Galavine, but... We are not level 10, so we do need to be level 10 to use this. We will come back. There's also a couple of elixirs here and uh, some other things that we can do. So we will definitely come back when we hit level 10. Right now, we are level 5. Let's head down here, see if they have anything special for sale, and then we're going to visit the blacksmith. Now, navigating is actually pretty, pretty easy, pretty seamless. See what's going on here. So this we don't have um curiosity vendor actually interesting this shady vendor gives you a small chance to obtain valuable items in exchange for murmuring obols obols can be found by completing quests throughout sanctuary right now i don't have any quests available to get obols hmm. which is okay so that looks that looks to me almost like a gambler type so we'll have to see because everything was locked all the stats were locked right now what i want to do is go to the blacksmith and uh, salvage all junk. You have no junk items to salvage. How do we how do we mark everything? Salvaging items will break them down into crafting materials. Let's go ahead and salvage all common items. Oh, nice. Boom, everything is gone. Oh, no. Anything Hold on. Nice. Okay, so you cannot salvage equipped items. That is good to know. When I looked at this and I said everything was grayed out, it is grayed out, so you can't salvage it while you're wearing it, which is really good. And then we're going to salvage magic as well. Now, what can we do with this? Repair. Uh, uh, we can't repair or upgrade right now. Actually, I wonder if we can. Right now, I'm using the basic hammer. I need a different skill or I need a different hammer. I want to see if we can buy a different two-handed hammer. to increase our damage i want to get a blue item and right now the skills that we're using call the ancients uses the two-handed hammer that we have i want to see if we can either switch it to a polearm or if we can get another skill that'll use something different so looks like this always stays here 
let's see what's going on over here okay so we got the waypoint very cool i like that waypoints are always useful so we unlocked the stable over here we unlocked the alchemist we got the healer we got the curiosities which is like a gambling center and uh blacksmith i'm very surprised blacksmith doesn't have anything for us to purchase let's go visit him again we can't craft anything uh these are locked it looks like player level 25 gems rings and amulets stash wardrobe i was really hoping to buy something a little bit different exploring the sanctuary waypoints allow you to fast travel freely across sanctuary and uh, that's kind of cool activated point is you explore by walking up to it okay you can earn renown by completing various activities across the continent and obtaining renown will grant you rewards at certain thresholds view the status of your renown in each region on the map tab okay so if you hit tab that opens that up right now i can't craft anything and i can't do anything which means we need to continue adventuring but we did salvage a bunch of stuff so since we have made it to kivashad which is the first town we are gonna stop here we are currently level five we're gonna stop here take a break i'm gonna edit this video and then we're gonna jump back in for more progress so i'll see you guys in the next video which is gonna be at the top right